గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బై సాయిబాబు శంకర దిస్ టైమ్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఎ కేస్ లా ఆన్ హిందూ మ్యారేజ్ యాక్ట్ ది సమ్ అండ్ సబ్స్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ దట్ ఇఫ్ ద వైఫ్ ఎలీజెస్ దట్ ది హస్బెండ్ ఈజ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆర్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ హిజ్ మ్యాట్రమోనియల్ థింగ్స్ if it is not proved definitely it comes under harassment to the husband and the husband can be given a divorce right so this is the thing it happened in karnataka state before that let us read the judgment of the privy council or house of lords code at home q u o d code at home at code home these people are quarreling in the home so unless these people cannot be united so two people cannot be compulsorily tied with the marriage if their understandings are not closing or if they are different this is what is stated by the privy council or house of lords in the case of g versus g 1924 so please remember these people two people should not be tied with this so called patrimonial relation if they are not in good terms same thing happened so now here such case in high court of kerala it has come so it is also noted as x versus x mr x versus mrs x so this is the case law decided on i think 31 5 2022 if you want uh, the appeal number actually this is an appeal from the family court so you may be knowing under section 19 class 1 definitely you can file the appeal against the order of the family court so this is a family so matrimonial appeal number 102625 by 2020 i believe 2015 102625 by 2015 so here the point is now we'll go to the facts of the case the facts of the case are like this the marriage of the husband with the wife took place on 13/5/2013 okay to be precise uh, the marriage took place in the year 2013 the wife was cooperative with the husband for about a month or so later her real colors came to light as per the opinion of the husband please remember so actually she is not supporting the family she is not doing any household work she is cursing the husband as well as the in laws and uh, before the others also even uh, when they asked her she told that uh, he is not capable of uh, the so called sexual act or he is impotent or he is not doing his marital obligations correctly like that she has been commenting and when the matter has come to notice of the elders also even before the others also she started blaming him that he is not potent he is not capable of doing so called act so he was very much right then he said okay baba if that is the case i am ready to undergo the potency test just like our uh, rape cases i am ready to undergo the potency test let us go to medical officer for which they are not agreeable not necessary we know your capacity like that she has been telling so ultimately so vexed with her attitude he filed a petition before the matrimony that family court in dharwad in karnataka state but it did not agree actually he filed the petition after 2 years only 2015 but the court in family court did not agree they dismissed the petition they did not give the divorce so agreed by the order of the family court then he approached the honorable high court of uh, uh, karnataka two judges justice hemarekha and sunil yadav they have uh, taken up the matter they delivered the judgment actually madam hemarekha she has written the judgment stating that main point this petition was filed the appeal was filed under section 13 class 1 sub class 1a of the hindu marriage act 1955 so that is you know it is harassment right okay how please remember even on the ground of potency you can impotency you can't take divorce impotency is one of the so called section 5 you know section 5 hindu marriage act uh, impotency is not at all one of the causes right whatever it is he is ready to test or to undergo the potency test also but she is not agreeable just she is uh, throwing the blame game that's all 
So the matter has now come to the High Court. The High Court clearly observed that as a prudent woman, normally if at all such things are there, the prudent woman would inform her parents who in turn will approach the other side and they say what is the position. So can we depart happily or can we continue like that they will be having the discussions. But brazenly she has openly told the others also normally wife will not tell about the impotency of her husband with the other people. No doubt she may curse him, she may inform the same to his parents, to her parents but not others. A prudent woman did not. So here the intention of the woman is clear that she does not want to lead the marital life with him. She wants to have the separation. Therefore, she is playing the so-called blame game. So the court has clearly <coughs> story, understood the same and now they have ordered for the granted the divorce. So why I am making these videos, please remember such cases do come to you. The blame game is going on on so many occasions. So for that definitely you must have solid proof. You must have medical evidence. Otherwise you can't. If you do that definitely it amounts to cruelty. The husband is now subjected to cruelty. Normally we will be dealing with the cases where a woman is subjected to cruelty under section 498A or the domestic violence act or things like that. But here the husband has become a scapegoat. He has become, he is subjected to cruelty and the high court in its wisdom understood his difficulty and granted the decree of divorce. Good decision. Of course, we don't expect such decisions to come. Such incidents also should not come because wife and husband should, they should lead a happy family married life. But if things do come like this, definitely you can cite this case and get a clean divorce, clear cut divorce. Very simple, right? Thank you very much.